It's official, you guys. The world is ending. Never thought I'd see the day that I agree with Bad Baby on something, but never say never because today is that day. Bad Baby is bashing Kanye's new song. <laughs> Could Danielle Pergoli actually be making sense for once? Hey, Holly Scoopers, it's Kate DeRocher, and I'm as shocked as you are that our very own Cash Me Outside girl is right this time around. Generally, when I hear about Bad Baby talking smack at someone, all I can do is shake my head. I think she's a young, misguided girl who gets attention by throwing shade at other rappers. But this time, to my surprise, I'm picking up what she's putting down. You've probably seen the memes of Kanye West and Lil Pump shaped like boxes and dressed in oversized easy wear, which is weird enough. But what's really weird is the song and music video that those memes are referencing. Kanye and Pump came through last week and released their first collab with their single, I Love It. And seriously, they may love it, but we really do not. It's incredibly odd. Take a look to see what I'm talking about. Your boyfriend is a door. Make love in door. That's so random. So yes, as you can see, it's really just super random and strange and odd and WTF. And I'm not the only one who feels that way. Little Miss Bad Baby is also out here speaking her thoughts on the song and she really feels strongly, even more so than I do. See for yourself. That new song y'all two motherfuckers just put out is so fucking terrible. Like, that is literally the worst rap song of all time. Coming for one of the most iconic rappers of all time, bold move Danielle, but still she's got a point. She started off the video with a disclaimer about how much she loves Kanye and Lil Pump and says she respects them, but still she disses them hard, saying it's the worst rap song of all time. Okay, Danielle, tell them how you really feel. Danielle's strong words are also twisted because in the past, she's said how much she idolizes Kanye and wants to work with him. Um, I'm getting some conflicted stories here, Danielle. Do you love Kanye or do you hate his stuff? Because right now you're telling two different versions, my dear. She literally told TMZ, quote, I listen to old Kanye, you know, like old Kanye. But some of the shit Kanye has now makes me kind of want to do a Kanye collab low key. I ain't gonna lie, Kanye's cool. Mm, okay, so which one is it, girl? No matter what Bad Baby's opinion on Easy is now, though, I don't think it'll matter to him one bit. Like Kanye always says, he doesn't take advice from people less successful than him, and well, Danielle definitely falls into that category. As weird, random, and vulgar as a song is, and as much as I agree with Danielle on the fact that the song itself is crap, it also is starting to get a little catchy. After watching the video a few times, I'm kind of seeing the humor in it, mainly because it's probably the most fun I've ever seen Kanye have. The rapper smiled more in this video than he has in his entire life, and I can't help but love the comedy in the whole thing. The song, though, is still just no good. The beat isn't bad, but the lyrics and the overall theme is just a hard pass. At one point, Kanye legit talks about ordering sparkling water. Like, seriously, yay, you didn't have anything wittier to add? I also can't help but wonder if at any point Lil Pump took a step back and thought, dang, maybe working with Kanye wasn't the best thing to ever happen to me. If one of my idols asked me to work with them, I'd be all for it. But can you imagine how you'd feel if the work you did with them ended up being a flop? Probably a bit confused. But in a past interview, Kanye revealed that Lil Pump is one of his favorite new artists. So chances are this isn't the last time we'll be seeing them together. So hopefully Pump can redeem himself with Kanye in the future. And maybe Danielle will get the chance to create something catchy with Mr. West too. If she even wants to, that is. What do you guys think? Is Danielle's assessment of the track accurate? Or is she just thirsting for attention? Let me know what you think below. And for more breakdowns on your favorite rappers, subscribe now and give this a watch.